Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, I am at a nondescript industrial location somewhere in Southern California, and I have happened to have seen the film Brightburn. Now, of course, if you're familiar with Brightburn, you know that it is What If Superman Was a Dick, which we've seen in, in the Justice Lords before. There, there are many a version of Superman, in fact, where he is indeed a dick. But this one is a young Superman who is a dick, but he's not called Superman for copyright reasons, who is crashed in a small town. And, of course, it is said in the movie that this particular alien superhuman, is it's at least implied that he is a brood parasite sent from another world to take over the Earth. And he is, of course, a dick. And... Brightburn is a very well shot movie. It has wonderfully tense scenes and a significant color palette that harkens back to a time when cinema didn't suck as much as it does now. But, you know, it's kind of what you would expect from a movie like this in that it is so predictable that in the most most climactic part of the film over there at the end, I was sitting there saying, can this end already because I have to go to work? And it's boring the crap out of me. I mean, yes, okay, you've got a Superman movie or a superhero movie in the horror genre. Have we never seen that before? Ah, uh, I would have to argue that Venom belongs in a horror movie, and he's a monster that eats people's heads, so that's that's definitely a, a horror movie, and, you know, we've got, uh, depends on your, your version of a superhero, but, yeah, I mean, this movie is getting mixed reviews, and personally, I thought it was okay. I didn't think it was wonderful. I didn't think it was anything really great to the genre. I thought that it was a well-made film that was boring and predictable. You know, it's just it's one of those things. Now, I could go into the fact that in the modern day, children just don't appear out of nowhere. And given the fact that in our day and age, I believe, the kid is supposed to be uh, 13 years old, so he was born past the turn of the millennium, and therefore him appearing out of nowhere, anything coming out of the sky uh, would have been tracked by our, you know, Air Force, and the government would be well aware of the fact that there is an alien living on Earth. But we've got to forgive that for this movie to work, and the sad truth is that I think it would have been a much much more interesting movie if somewhere along the lines the government had said, oh, these two people adopted an alien. Well, let's just keep an eye on them rather than, you know, taking the alien in. You know, that would have been the much better movie. So, yes, Brightburn. Well-made film, but ultimately too predictable for my tastes. You may enjoy it. I was a little bored. That's just my opinion. Love to hear yours down in the comments below. I am Richard. Hello, folks. I'm Fred the Facehugger, reminding you to like and comment on this video. Subscribe if you haven't already, because if you don't, Random Street Theater might not be around forever. And for every 1,000 subscribers, we're going to take a pound of trash out of the ocean. We don't have that many yet, so... Get subscribing, tell your friends, or I face hug you. Mwah!